everyone. Welcome to Tianjin University Ambassador Talks. My name is Timothy Joseph Tagal. I'm an admission promotion ambassador of Tianjin University. And today we are going to discuss about the study in the School of Chemical Engineering and Technology in Tianjin University. This school is the number one in China and we are going to be accompanied by our fellow ambassador that is Kara and Chiawei. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how are you guys doing today? Um, it's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a three-way conversation again. This is actually the most challenging because, you know, I have to ask, you know, like simultaneously. But okay, this is your first time, uh, guys, to in these talks. So maybe start from Kara. Would you like to give a brief introduction about yourself? Ah, uh, sure. Can um, hello everyone. Nice to meet you. And my name is Kara Chong Wei. Uh, I'm also one of the ambassador of Tianjin University. Uh, I'm majoring in food science and engineering from School of Chemical Engineering. And currently in the second semester of my year one study. See, yeah. Okay, Chia Wei. Hi, I am Chia Wei. I'm 20 years old this year and have a birthday that time. And <laughs> I'm majoring in chemical engineering and also the first year student in Tianjin University. Okay, so thank you for the introduction. I mean, we are from the same school. So basically, we are just going to discuss everything about this school. I mean, uh, this school is quite uh, famous for some sorts because of the quality. And I am wondering, uh, you guys, how can you know about Tianjin University at first? Start from Kiara. <laughs> okay. Uh, I get to know about Tianjin University is actually from... Uh, the counseling department of my secondary school. Uh, yeah. Chinese private schools in Malaysia often gives yeah. us uh, a lot of information and details of application about studying abroad. So by the time when I saw the announcement of Tianjin University and I tried to uh, straight away started to do survey on TJU through YouTube yeah. Yeah. and Google, yeah. Oh, okay, you just get the information initially and you just start surveying the all the information. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, how about Chia Wei? Um, I noticed Tianjin University is only after I get the UEZ result and also um, oh, get yeah. an email from the counselor department. And I'm also same secondary school with Tara. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the first time I didn't choose UE, the TJU at first, uh, but yeah. I... I have looked for the ranking of the chemical engineering and I saw of the Tianjin University is ranked one in chemical engineering. So I'm interested in this school. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you guys from the same school? Do you guys work together on the application when you apply <laughs> TJU? Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I thought that, you know, that you guys already know each other. I mean... Uh, yeah, okay. It's a, it's a very good choice for you guys to choose uh, China. And of course, uh, I am thinking that, you know, you must have seen like some other universities maybe or when you are in your secondary school. So why did you choose China as your undergraduate studies destination? Oh, okay, me first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, actually, I found out that uh, studying abroad is a great opportunity for me to upgrade myself. Uh, and become a better person, like be more independent, uh, self-motivated, and develop personal skills. So I think it's also a precious chance for me to live in a different country and experience yeah. Yeah. four seasons uh, and yeah. meet a lot of people from different countries. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. and the last reason is I think China provides uh, many attractive scholarship for, which I think is, is more affordable for many students to study in China. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a very good uh, principle for you, you know, you want to study abroad because, well, yeah, you, you can achieve so much opportunities and mm -hmm. it's for me as well, as I'm going to study abroad, yeah, I, you know, look forward to, uh, more opportunities abroad. Okay, so how about Tia Wei? Why do you choose China? Um, actually, I choose China for my study is because that my other language is not so influenced. And 
Yeah. At the first, I have choice of Taiwan and China, but my parents is yeah. not allow me to study at Taiwan because of some economic issue at okay. Taiwan. Yes. So, um, yeah. I, but I am taking the chemical engineering teaching in English. Uh, a, a little bit contradiction about this, this yeah. courses. So, yeah, but the language is the first reason cost me to choose China. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. You guys have the advantage of knowing <laughs> Chinese. So, yeah. Okay. I understand. But, yeah. I mean, if you are looking at the perspective of Malaysians, uh, you know, studying in China, I mean, it's very normal. And, you know, your, your first native, your native language is that. And for me as well, I mean, I don't know. It's not my first language of Chinese, but I see that China has a lot of, you know, improvement in their economy, in their technology, like everything. But of course, we are going to choose our undergraduate studies, our foundational studies from the start. So yeah, I think we make a very good choice from the start. But yeah, we have just have to wait until we can experience China. So have you guys ever gone to China before? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Which, which city? Is it Tianjin also? Uh, no, Hokkien. Oh, uh, well, I... Uh, Hokkien, Fu, Jian. Uh, no, Fu, Jian. When I was 14 years old, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. uh, about 10 days trip, yeah. Mm, I see. What about Jia Wei? Okay. Um, I have been go to many cities in China before, um, like yeah. Beijing, Shanghai, and Fujian also. And I'll go to Fujian yeah. is because my relative is at there. And I am going back to uh, hometown, I think. <laughs> my parents' hometown, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is a very good experience for you guys. And uh, I am curious about, you know, your choice of major. So since Kara and Jia Wei choose in the same school, but Kara, uh, why did you choose major of uh, food science and engineering? Oh, okay. Uh, I think... Foods, uh, I think food brings joy to many people and gives us energy to start our brand new day. So yeah. I, <laughs> I wish to develop and discover more healthy food uh, to people around the world. Uh, actually, I wish to become a nutritionist since I was 15 yeah. years old. So oh, yeah. choosing food science and engineering is because this course is quite general and yeah. includes a uh, nutrition related subject. So I think food science can let me gain more knowledge and about food line, but not only nutrition. So I choose oh, food science yeah. and engineering, yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you want to like, you know, delve into much more about food, I think you can, you know, work at the unit chef. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But it's a, it's a, it's a good uh, ambition for you to, you know, starting from a good cause and then mm -hmm. you want to pursue that. I think you will, you know, reach much more opportunity about this major. So for Jiawei, we are from the same major. So I wonder, <laughs> why do you choose chemical engineering? Actually, I am because that I'm interested in chemistry at first. Mm -hmm. And then also, I am also uh, a little bit interesting, I think, in mathematics. And my teacher mm -hmm. suggests yeah. me to choose, uh, try to choose the chemical engineering. And I have to, and I have go to uh, looking around about these courses and asking yeah. for, for my senior also. And I think it's a uh, best choice for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, you got the foundation in chemistry and mathematics, right? Ah, uh, yeah. And um, physics and bio also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The same as me as well. I mean, I have the big interest in science, like <laughs> physics, mathematics, chemistry, biology. Is that uh, in the high school, I studied so much and I love the, <laughs> like the natural science in general. So I do not want to, you know, like being the knowledge that I have known come to waste. Yeah, so in this chemical engineering, we experience everything <laughs> from chemistry, oh. physics, mathematics, and yeah, biology. I think, Joe, are you, are you in the first year? In the yeah, first year. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, I think, have never experienced the biology course, I think. Yeah, haven't. Yeah, you will start in semester three, so be ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you remember the if you know you like the list of the courses you will see introduction to biochemical engineering. Oh, yeah, that is related to biology in some oh. chapters. 
So yeah. yeah, if you want to know the trick to pass that course, yeah, you just you can tell me later. I can tell you the tips about that. Okay. Oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because we're some from the same major, so we have the same experience. And by the way, uh, Kara, so how about your courses of your studies? Do you think that it is difficult for you, or you just still enjoying it because you're still in first year? Mm, I think actually it's quite difficult for me. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I choose science. I choose science subject. All those science like chemistry, physics, uh, biology is because uh, to pursue my nutritionist dream. Okay. <laughs> but yes, I'm not really yeah. good at those subjects, so I'm still trying my best to pick up the those studies. Yeah, so I think mm -hmm. it's still difficult for me to study. Uh, like chemistry, uh, it's, okay. quite <laughs> it's a bit uh, ironic <laughs> since you are in food science. I mean, you will get chemistry and you know, like uh, some other stuff that's important. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that you can, you know, go to this first year. I mean, uh, that study online right now, like giving you a shock, you know, like you have to learn that you, mm. you spend so much time on learning. Uh, I think, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go to Chia Wei. So, Chia Wei, how do you think your first year studies? Um, I think it's sometimes boring because I have a very uh, huge expectation for my university yeah. life. And, but I think we can go to China soon. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, of course. We hope so much. I mean, I, I'm actually wondering that you know you also learn like the mathematics. How do you think about mm -hmm. the calculus right now in second semester? I know it's quite second semester is um more tricky than the first semester. I think yeah 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 very tricky. Yes, because I experienced <laughs> it as well. Uh, do you study uh I don't know the multiple integrals? Have you reached that chapter? Yeah, I'm studying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of the most hardest because. You don't only calculate once but twice, and then you will calculate three times if you got the triple yeah. integral. <laughs> Very complicated. Yeah, and then you will study not only the area of the surface, sorry, the surface area of the graph, but the volume of a revolution. Have you learned that as well? Yeah, just learning, but um, <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> and the only way to pass that. Uh, by the way, Kara, do you also study calculus? The same. Oh. Uh... I think my mathematics is not as difficult as yours. Calculus is like, I would say, uh, not, not really. I think still can manage that. Yeah. Oh, so we, do we have different calculus? Is it different? I mean, you study limit, right? Limit, differentiation, integration. Um, yeah. Okay, so right now. In but in, in Chinese, la, yeah. Oh, in Chinese? Oh, you're in Chinese thought. Ah, yeah, I'm in Chinese. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Well, for the trick to pass Jiawei, you just only need to practice more. Yeah, literally. <laughs> There's no other way. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I practice a lot. I mean, if you, you know, read the book, just, you know, the question will be very similar from the exam and the uh, practice or homework you will receive. Yeah, so don't yes. worry if you feel anything difficult about that. Yeah, you know, uh, kalau mau soal ujian, minta aja nggak apa-apa. <laughs> What does that mean? Do you guys understand that? <laughs> no. Oh, no? Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I am from the first year as well. If you need some assistance, you can request, but be discreet. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So now online studies, you guys have, you know, like so much experience on, you know, learning still in the foundational course. So you must have like laboratory course. Do you have lab course? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, Kara, you have lab course? Oh, yeah. But it's in, in videos. Ah, yeah. Videos. Videos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very educational because, yeah. Okay, so videos like simulation or only recording of something? Oh, recorded videos. Oh, recording. Okay. Uh -huh. And I, I thought it's like a live simulation, you know, like teachers, like they, they are in the lab showing what is this, like. How is how to do this experiment? What is the steps? It's not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, it's in yeah. recorded videos, like in MOOC 
and th I think you all can found in MOC the, those lab experiments, yeah. Okay, so Jiao Wei, do you not also have lab as well? Are you Chinese no. or English though? I'm in English talk. Oh, English. That's yeah. why. <laughs> I mean, if you're Chinese thought major, you will receive online experiment. Yeah, that's the <clears throat> the, mm -hmm. the way it's done. So, yeah, Chiawei, don't be sad. I also do not have an experiment <laughs> course until now. <laughs> so, uh, Kara, do you think that uh, the experiment course, like, giving you a good way to, you know, like, experience the lab online? I think still not really, not really yeah. is a good, I think practical is more important, yeah. like yeah. this, those experiments you need to do by yourself and then you will know how it's this feel, uh, how it feels like, uh, it's uh, not really good yeah. like, for me, yeah. but still can yeah. manage, yeah. So how is the exam of the lab? Do you guys do like have a case to analyze or how this the, the exams in the laboratory course um, no uh, uh, I got two experiments like for this semester and one experiment is like you need to watch recorded videos and it will like every chapter they will have 10 questions a small question to let you answer like how how it um, how the uh, what color will it change or a very simple question, la. Mm, yeah. yeah. So that we can uh, watch in the video and we oh, learn okay. through the uh, chemistry classes. Yeah. yeah, actually, it's the uh, same way with the chemistry classes and the experiment. So you will think it's it quite okay to manage it. Yeah. Yeah, so give a good picture. I mean, it's an advantage if you know Chinese, you can get online experience. <laughs> yeah. So the question is still like <laughs> conceptual, like the video shows this. And the exam will just ask you just that exactly like okay mm, yeah no no but the you know like the experiment course in the real lab I never experienced that as well so yeah I think Xiaowe you just have to wait uh like me as well I mean uh yeah it's a bit hard because experiment lab is a compulsory course like we have seven <laughs> or eight labs from the second semester until the yeah. Uh, seventh semester so just counting you know <laughs> yeah. counting when you just uh, go into third semester fourth semester you're still online I have four labs uncountable and <laughs> so, <laughs> you have two labs right in organic yeah. and chemistry and chemical but I chemistry. can't choose that also <laughs> okay yeah because uh, it's very important for us to have a practical work. Okay, so do you guys have any like programming class? Like, do you guys have to program something, learn programming? Mm, I don't have, but uh, for the first semester, we have like a computer science that we need to do the experiment, how to use uh, words, uh, PP, PowerPoint, and yeah. Excel file. Yeah, for the first semester. Uh. Oh, you get computer science. Computer um, science fundamentals, like introduction to computer science. Like introduction about like how a uh, computer and the elements in the computers and how to uh, use, how to check the details of the computer. Yeah, not really uh, deep like programming, no, oh, yeah. but just okay. uh, how to use a general uh, no, yeah. Yeah. To use the computer. Okay, I understand. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Chiawei, if you need like uh, programming, basically in your first year you will not have any programming. But I suggest mm -hmm. you to learn any one of oh. them. Like, uh, it's not very difficult language. Uh, I suggest you to learn C plus plus or or if you can download MATLAB. Yeah. MATLAB. Yeah. Oh, if you oh. do, you have it or you haven't have it? I haven't have it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you need you, you will need that in one of the courses in the future semesters. So to save your time, second year. yeah, second year. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, yeah, so, so to save your time and to upgrade your skills, you okay. must learn that. I mean, just learn at least one of them. It's okay. it will be applied for Kara as well. I mean, if you let's say in the future we'll get like you need to do simulation or you have to program something, it will be useful. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to learn like multiple programming languages. Just learn one and then be good at it. And then you can uh, develop anything you want. 
Yeah, because right now... <laughs> it's Python kind of the language. Yeah, yeah, you can learn it as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, Python is a very general one. Uh, I think I did in high school before, like the basic HTML and CSS, oh, yeah. but I forgot it because I have no intention of continuing to learn it. But I know, uh, if you believe me, you will actually face that, but you will not be taught the basics. So you have to learn it by your own from scratch, from zero. <laughs> yeah, you will have one year to do it. Yeah, you have one, one year. year time because in third semester, there is no programming uh, course. <laughs> there's no programming needs for you to learn that. Okay, um, that's a bit, a bit spoiler. <laughs> okay, so uh, now in online class, I, I'm wondering about your experience as well. That how is how do you think about the lecture performance in the class? Yara. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think. What I experienced is, I think teachers are very patient with international students. Like we, uh, you face some problems and difficulties about some topic, and they were like quite patient to answer us. Although it's some, yes. it mm -hmm. it will take some time to reply us in the WeChat group. Yes. But still, yes. I think still okay, la. Yeah. Oh, still okay. You can understand what your lecturer said. Uh, yeah, I think can because the language is quite. I can I can understand uh, what they are talking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about Chinese like how they understand things, but yeah, I think you can understand it. <laughs> okay. So how about Xiaowei? Uh, about your okay. lecturer, how do you think? I can say my lecturer is very Tanggung Jawa. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I have a mess teacher. <laughs> Mm, uh, yes. The math teacher is not very influenced in English. Um, it can yeah. say, mm, yeah. she can say to be cannot talk in English. And so she will yeah. 50% <laughs> teach in Mandarin. But, oh, she okay. will, yeah. but she will uh, apologize to those international students uh, who cannot, uh, cannot understand. But those, yeah. uh, those information is also uh, in MOOC already. So yes. I think it's not matter. Okay, yeah. So you can easily understand, uh, like yeah, because in Chinese. Things. Okay, yeah. I mean, I think I know who that lecture is. So yeah, Kao Tong Shu Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you if you know about that lecture, that lecture is actually very achieve. She got a very good achievement. If you know, yeah. she is at 2017, 2018. She is the best teacher, the best lecturer in the National Mathematics Undergraduate Competition in China. So it's very good. Wow. Yeah, for Chinese and universities. Yeah, so if you know like a uh, National Olympiad in the secondary school, it's the equivalent for the undergraduate mathematics competition. Wow. So she's very smart. If you see the WeChat news, she will be there. So uh, you guys who wants to study like in chemical engineering, the mathematics teacher is actually very smart. Yeah, and I was, uh, you know, one of the shuepa uh, in the oh. <laughs> in the courses. So yeah, I I spoke to her a lot. She uh, gives like a lot of explanation. Yeah, your mathematics teacher is very good. You have to use that. You have to ask everything, and you know, yeah, yeah you can. And she understand. will talk about how to uh her life uh and teach <laughs> yeah. us those yeah. things. <laughs> Yeah, of course, because uh, that course is still foundational. Believe me, what you will learn uh, right now in your first year, they will be related to the future semester. So do not forget about your previous <laughs> courses, whatever you learn. For example, if mathematics, you will be facing another advanced form of mathematics. It's called engineering mathematics. Yeah, do not worry about that. You will note later. <laughs> Kara, do you also study like uh, more advanced mathematics in your course? Um, yeah, I think it's more advanced. Like you yeah. learn more uh, than secondary school. Like. Actually, it's quite uh -huh. different. Like uh, there are also some, not only at math, and they will like divide into like probability and other okay. subjects. We also uh, related some of the maths so I think it's quite difficult, yeah. Yeah, I mean, in the college mathematics, you will basically uh, being learn the concepts, like literally the concept, not mm -hmm. only the formula you remember. 
So that's why Xiaowei, you have experience as well in the exam. You will receive a lot of concepts, right? concepts like you have to use this rule. If not, you will be, uh, you know, cut off your score. Yeah, <laughs> I experienced it as well, but not so much because I could remember the concept as well. Okay, so I'm actually wondering, uh, how do you think about this online class? Like, uh, how do you think overall of the quality of the online class? Kara. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so online classes, like for me, online classes uh, have live streaming and also recorded videos. Like we need to watch recorded videos. So I think both of them have their pros and cons. Uh, the pro of uh, live streaming is um, I can like when we face question, uh, we face problem or we have topic that we couldn't understand, we can ask teacher directly and get the uh, reply immediately. But uh, watching recorded video, we need to take some time for waiting uh, to wait for teacher to reply us in WeChat group. Yeah. But there are also a benefit of uh, watching recorded videos that we can arrange our time and our time will be more flexible to study that subject. Yeah, so mm, yeah. I think a uh, timetable plays important role in online classes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -mm. Yeah, of course, it's very true. And what about you? Mm. Um, for me, my courses is mainly in life. Um, so I think just about mm. my self-control. <laughs> I need to uh, okay. <laughs> be, uh, be yeah. I don't know how to really talk that. We need to uh the more the time. Yeah. Follow yeah, the time. You are easily distracted by anything you can yeah. imagine. <laughs> if you want to learn something and yeah. then okay, I want to do something else. And then yeah, you have to control your time. That's mm. actually my experience at first because you know like really shocked because the teacher they are quickly discussing about some topics like they discuss almost one chapter in one yeah chapter. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and oh then my God. They, <laughs> yeah so it's not like they like we can uh like like uh, we have to discuss something one by one they just discuss the whole thing give examples and then yeah homework okay okay i have to do it homework and then but of course the advantage is you have much more time to do anything yes. you want like you want to learn you want to explore something else and let's say you want to use the time to let's say learn other skills as well yeah i mean you will have to know like the more you advance later in the course in the future you will actually feel the more weight yeah so in this uh, foundational course i think uh, the basic of mathematics and science you think that is the most difficult nah, you are wrong you will face much more difficult things in the future courses <laughs> yeah, believe me because in the beginning you will feel like okay this is very similar right with secondary school with high school it's very oh, easy yeah. and then suddenly oh my god what is this they yeah. progress so fast <laughs> yeah in high school teacher will lead us but in yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah you have to be ready for that because uh Right now, foundational courses, we can say that if you're facing it for the first time, you will think that it's easy and then uh, feel more difficult. But uh, in the future course, in the future uh, semesters, you will face much more difficult. So be ready. Do not relax. You know, yeah. you have to pursue more because I experienced it as well. So yeah, okay, so let's discuss about like the tasks and exams. Like how, how do you think the, you know, is it difficult or the teacher give you some leniency? What do you think? Um, for me, some courses is easy because wow. uh, teacher teach, teach what and he will give what homework. But some teacher will not uh, follow their yeah. <laughs> uh, skills, their, their, their information Sometimes, is very yeah. easy. Yeah, sometimes teachers do not give homework at all. Uh, do you study, uh, how do you say that, uh, the introduction to chemical engineering? Yeah, the yeah, assignment no homework. is... <laughs> just just but, one homework, yeah. and the homework yeah. is so... Yeah, of course. And do you learn chemical process design? Second oh, okay. I just learning this, this and ah, you just learned, right? Do you receive yeah. homework? No, haven't. No, okay, so be ready for your final exam. Oh, it should be quite hard. <laughs> 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 uh, 
but uh, uh, quite spoiler is it will be open book. I think if your lecture have told you about that, no. Yeah, the I have uh experienced the foundations of physics, uh, exam this. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She yeah, wants to answer sixteen yeah. questions in one hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very different from what we experienced before. I mean. It's like you will have lots of question more than you think, uh, and you have to finish it in the short time. Yeah. Who get the highest score? And who will be the full marks? <laughs> yeah, you will get the full marks. You get the highest score. Yeah. It's like the question is not, it's not very conceptual, but he is uh, advancing the question, right? Can you answer so all hard. the question in the? So, no. so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I experienced it as well. So uh, you just have to like uh, in the practice exam, sorry, in the practice question that he gave you, for example, from the previous uh, semesters or every question that, that the lecturer gives you, it will not be similar at all. So be ready. <laughs> yeah, all you do is just like uh, remember the concept, remember the formula. This is the way I have to do it, like literally. And then in the final exam, you can do, uh, you can <laughs> do the most. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not like uh, what's the teacher give a very easy practice question, and then <laughs> in the final exam or in the homework, it's very hard. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you will you will get past that, but I'm sure that you can do it as well. Okay, Kara, what do you think? <laughs> uh, so I think. Um, actually, it still got its difficulties, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but actually, like uh, my subjects, uh, if you practice more, like uh, you do the homework that teacher give, that yeah. teacher give, and you try to revise uh as more as you can, then I think it's yeah. quite you will like found out the exam is quite okay to manage. But sometimes the subject is too many that you can't really revise as more as you can and you will find oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, because uh, they will they actually will give you review. It is just according to them if the question is similar or not. So I mm -hmm. suggest you that, that this is the tips that if the teacher gives you many example questions and then the topics is quite manageable for you to learn, the final exam will be closed book. If your lectures spoke so many things you don't understand and you will receive less homework, the exam will be either open book or you will do a report <laughs> on that. <laughs> That's why uh, it's, it's real because in introduction chemical engineering, we learn so many things, right? But what are we actually learning right now? <laughs> it's like the foundation of chemical engineering in various topics. But in the end, you will do a report. Like, shall I do you do a report or? I haven't do that. Oh, uh, no, introduction to chemical engineering, the first semester. Oh, um, the first semester, he gave me to do two homeworks is PPT and uh, uh assignment, choose yeah. by the, the topic choose by. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is the report. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I do the PPT actually last time about mm. chemical industry, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I also talk about this. Yeah, so, and then the exam, uh, you will do, actually not an exam, it's like, do we have a deadline of uh, creating an essay? Oh, of the final paper. Yeah, final paper, final term paper. Yeah, yeah. So what, what kind of topics do you do? In I do the production of penicillin. Oh, it's the same as me, actually. <laughs> oh. But, uh, yeah. I actually discussed the contribution of chemical engineers to the production mm -hmm. of penicillin. In the world, war um, yeah, and mainly in the process. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, okay, it's quite logical because, uh, because uh, introduction to chemical engineering will give you the foundation of something like you will know why we need factory, right? Why we need operations, why we do something like this, and then the you know early invention of uh, certain products like a certain chemical compound, right? Like ammonia, mm -hmm. like uh sulfuric acid right yeah, yeah so yeah that that lecture is very good you just have to uh, mm -hmm. learn seriously and anything else yeah okay <laughs> okay so uh let's go to the next one so kara so you 
you talk about like a lot about that you want to pursue your future dream to be a nutritionist or mm-hmm. what you want to achieve. So, uh, do you think that the course like giving you fundamental towards uh, what you expect uh, when you're studying? Uh, not really, because the first year actually is quite general like we uh, the subjects are seen as uh, the chemical engineering in Chinese uh, yeah uh, different as yeah. you all I think I'm not sure but uh, I still have the same subject with the student in chemical engineering courses mm, so okay. uh, after the first year and when I go to the second uh, second year and I start some food science related subjects. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the foundation is basically the same. And yeah, I think you can do it uh, well and you can, you know, I mean, it's an online condition. So if you want to do, is there any live exam, like live uh, monitoring? Oh, yes. Okay, so yeah, it's, it, you can condition the environment how the way you want can do the life exam. So okay, uh, what about uh, Chiawei? Because uh, in chemical engineering, you will have many opportunities, like so many things. Do you have like specific field you want to go to? Um, I think the chemical design is more interested uh, among two other courses. Oh, okay. Um, Yes. Yes, because design, uh, yeah, chemical press design. I mean, yeah, it will be uh very interesting because you will know like how many reactors, how many pipes, and then let's say you know the variables of each of the equipment. Yeah, yeah it's very related. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Believe me, later in the future semesters, what you guys need to pay attention is that, uh, you will receive more related and the more advanced courses, uh, the topics will be much more related, like mathematics, you will study the more advanced. And let's say you study chemistry, it will be more advanced. Let's say you study organic chemistry, right? physical chemistry, and then yeah, other lessons too. And then after that, uh, you will have to face a more strict uh, lecture. Like sometimes you ask questions and you will receive general answers and you just keep asking again. Yeah, so do not worry about the, like, I think this question is quite difficult, the topic is quite difficult, just have to ask the lecture. Yeah, because I experienced it as you go uh, in the future semesters, the lecturer will assume that you have a good foundational knowledge, what you have discussed before. So be careful, you have to learn seriously about that, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> because let's say, uh, do you study thermodynamics uh, in the future semesters? Um. I didn't saw that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe if there's related to something to that, you will receive much more advance. Yeah, so oh, oh good reminder from a senior <laughs> to undergraduate first year. Okay. Yeah, and then, yeah, you have to, okay, you, by the way, you guys, are you guys with scholarship, right? You apply scholarship? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yes. Kara, what scholarship do you uh, apply? Um, mine is a uh, Tianjin University Type A scholarship. Uh, Type B scholarship. Sorry, Type B. Uh, okay. So, what is the like benefits? Like, what the coverage of that? Uh, actually, it covers my school, my uh, um, the cost fees. Yeah, to I think it's twenty thousand. Yeah, twenty thousand yeah. renminbi. Uh, yeah. in RMB la, RMB. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And do you get any interviews uh, in the application process? Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, so is it live interview or email? Uh, like? um, live interview and also got email. I, I last year I have to, I had to, how to say, uh, I, I need to record a video like self introduction. Okay, yeah. Like about uh, five minutes. About three minutes or five minutes, I really forgot it. I really forget it. Yeah. So, yeah. and after that, uh, received the admission letter and also was interviewed by the admission teacher. Yeah. Oh, so the video, is it requested from the teachers or mm, is it yeah. requested? Yeah, requested. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, how about Chiawei? How about your scholarship? Uh, I'm taking the Tianjin University Scholarship in Chemical Engineering and the half, 
half the oh partial coverage yeah, partial yeah okay do you get any interview as well yes i get a two minutes interview i think because mm -hmm. when i went into the interviews the interviewers just taught me to just let me to introduce myself and ask me why you choose tju as your study uh your study method <laughs> yeah <laughs> and just this but yeah it's very different from me from in my case actually no interview oh, cool. <laughs> yeah they didn't specifically say there's an interview but i'm actually ready if there's an interview but yeah it's quite pressure for you guys to have interview and i actually have to make video just less than one minute yeah just like introduction oh. but it is required on the application portal yeah oh, yeah yeah you. Okay. You need to submit with the others application materials. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. And do you guys have any uh, annual review? <laughs> annual Any? review of the scholarship. Scholarship review. Yeah. So okay, you haven't got that. Uh, it's actually <laughs> written in the website. It's basically annual review. Is that they will evaluate your annual performance. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How to check it? <laughs> no, you, this. you will not know anything about it, and they will evaluate your performance from your grades, oh, wow. from your uh, attendance. So do not miss your class. Whatever it is, if you miss your class, please say to your teacher that I have this. Do not let that slip away. Okay, and then uh, for you, Chiawei, if you are partial, basically if your grades are much higher, there's a chance you will be swept into full coverage. Something. Oh, I think it's fixed for four years. Yeah, I mean, it's annual review. So if your scores decrease, you know, like uh, having a decrease in grades, you could lose or suspend it or full to partial or partial to full. Yeah, you have that condition as well. So just oh. make that, uh, you know, uh, increase your score because right now it's online. You have a good uh, chance to learn everything you want and how, how long you want. So yeah, use that because annual evaluation, they will not tell you the result. It is just like this, uh, in the registration, uh, I mean, if you want to go to the second semester, sorry, the third semester, you will start your second year, right? They will tell you to re-register your name and your student fee. And if you are not required to pay tuition fees, then you are safe. <laughs> From oh, the second year, you don't need to pay any fees. No, I mean, if you are required to pay tuition, uh, because you're partial, right? I mean, if you are not required to pay any tuition, then means your scholarship is full. Basically, oh. your evaluation is very good. Same as me as well. <laughs> yeah, because I'm right now in my fourth semester. So, you can you guys ask me anything you want? <laughs> so, do you yeah. pay the cost fee at the second year? You need no. to pay on, on, only on, on the first year? No. Our no. regulation is different. <laughs> oh. Yeah, do you see in the bill? Uh, oh, I, I see it's a new regulation. You need to pay prepaid tuition fees. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need to pay that. Yeah, yeah. in 2020, we did not pay anything in the oh, you don't need to pay first that. stage, so. but we did pay some small deposit amount. Oh. Uh, one fifth of the tuition. So count that, one fifth. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Oh, so different oh, from us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah so you just, uh, you know, there's a difference in what mm -hmm. I experience with your experience. And yeah, you have to pay so much tuition fees. And do you guys have created bank account in China? Um, Haven't. No, oh, yeah. You, just, you didn't receive. <laughs> yeah. If, if you don't have the uh, China bank, we can't receive the tuition fee like from them. Like, come back like the, the money come back <laughs> <laughs> yeah but they pay automatically so we just have to like follow the coverage and yeah it's way you just have to increase your scores yeah, make sure that you can reach, reach the you no know, yeah highest you can do <laughs> your grades is good right well done well done i don't think 
<laughs> yeah okay because uh, you have a lot of uh, facilities in your online studies so you mm. use that to increase your scores and you just you can follow like other activities and by the way because you are now fellow ambassadors so how mm. is your experience right now as a student ambassador of TJ? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh you are team yeah how do you guys work as team uh, how do you experience this um, It's okay. okay. You can say anything you want. <laughs> Actually, we is uh did uh apply for this ambassador yeah. for the prize, <laughs> <laughs> and we aim for the first prize. Oh, <laughs> good motivation! It's very good motivation. But yeah. but I think we are not going to win that. <laughs> It's all right. I mean, yeah. I mean, as an ambassador. So, uh, when you first see that program, what do you expect as an ambassador? Hmm. Actually, yeah. I hope to learn how to like speak in more people, like in front of more many people. Yeah, to train to build up my confidence and. But I think it's quite difficult, like because of this pandemic, like we can't really go out for like have a talk or some. Like, it's quite difficult to find someone to, uh, hear our talk. Yeah, so we change our mind to like record some videos and post it and post them on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I expect that as well. Because you know, in ambassador, we can. Like speak. I mean, even in online, you can actually speak to many people if you like follow a webinar or some organizer. Yeah, I mean, uh, you guys uh like see my ambassador training last time, in the beginning. I didn't participate. <laughs> It was actually an announcement in the group. So yeah. Oh, yeah. oh the, the first time Zoom right. Yeah, the first time we met together to have. Ah, oh, oh, I remember this. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the picture that yeah, you just have to do your own effort, like basically promoting on your social media, telling your friends that yeah, come on, apply to the university and everything you can do to uplift the features, because mm -hmm. you guys are the representative. People see you as a Tianjin University. They will ask you. So yeah, that's why. These talks can bring you know general experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I uh create the uh, talks to create good uh, ambassador program as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to our final question. We have talked so much about today's um school of chemical engineering. So, what do you think from uh Kara first, like the job prospect of like what you can achieve in the future from the major food science engineering? Actually, I I think after these four years in Tianjin University, I wish like go for further study first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe can gain some working experience like interns for maybe few months or few years, and then start to go for further study. Yes. Yeah. Then try to find. Is it really? I want to become a nutritionist because I think dream with the uh reality is not really same. So I think I need more information and more knowledge to know what I want in the future. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. And I hope that you can you know have a good success in your interests and dreams in the future in your major. And what about Chiawe? What do you think that we can reach as a chemical engineering student and you know the job prospects? Mm, I think we can be become the chemical engineering designer. I am very interested in this now, yeah. and I don't sure I will change or not. And I also have considered to study master or not because this course is much uh competitive. Yes. If we didn't have further study, we can't have the more um. Uh, I don't know how to say. I. Yeah. yeah, I understand. Yeah, because uh, if you want to design, I mean, you can learn software, you can learn MATLAB, maybe you can learn other drawing software or designing because, oh, you can learn AutoCAD. It's very useful for you to learn oh. AutoCAD, uh, Auto CAD, Computer Aided Design. 
Yeah, you can yeah. download the software okay. from the internet and you can learn that because it's specifically for design, design something. Or if you want to do 3D, you can download SolidWorks. SolidWorks uh, in software, 3D drawing, 3D design of something. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's very good you guys to give the insights for the prospective students. So let's go to the final one. Uh, okay, as an ambassador, so maybe you guys can give motivation, encouragement for students to, you know, choose the university as their further study choice. Okay, Kara, come on. <laughs> okay, uh, so I would like to share a quote uh, from the movie, The Greatest Showman. Uh, yeah, uh, actually it says that we can live in a world that we design. So I think uh, like stepping into university is like uh, starting a new chapter in our life. So I think we can design a whole new uni life that we want. Yeah, so I really think that changing university is a great choice to consider because can meet a lot of amazing people here. So uh, Welcome everyone to join us in Tianjin University and hope to meet you guys in the near future. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now Jia Wei, come on. <laughs> okay. Um, I am very uh suggest for those who want to study in chemical engineering the courses as for the rank and for the I can E also. So yeah, I can just only uh very I very suggest for the one who want to study in chemical engineering huh? and others I'm not sure for that but also welcome for them yes okay yes everyone that is everyone our discussion from the school of chemical engineering and technology from the major of food science engineering and the major of chemical engineering we have the international accreditation and we are the first class national discipline so make sure that if you have any interest to pursue the major of engineering you can pursue and choose Kent university and thank you so much to kara and Wei for your time and opportunities for you guys to share because this will be a good direct experience for prospective students. They are wondering how is it like to study in Kent University. And we have available scholarship as well. The admission are still open. You can contact us as an ambassador uh, to Kara, Chiawe, and to me as well. Uh, you can contact us and ask us any question. And thank you everyone. Thank you for your uh, experience uh, to share with us today. And yeah, I hope that you can reach and have a good endeavor for your success in the future, in your interests and your dreams from your respective majors. Okay, thank you everyone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next episode of Tianjin University Ambassador Talks. Thank you everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>